This was not the plan. <laughs> like, we can get photos of this. It's gonna work out. It's gonna work. I think that we're gonna get it in the end, dude. Let's get to the top. We can shoot some photos. Here in Cape Town, where we live, there are some crazy mountains and really crazy peaks all over, but there's this one in particular that none of us have ever been to, and it looks like it has the most insane panoramic views. I haven't done any cool landscape stuff in a very long time. So for today's plan, we're gonna head up there, see if we can find our way. It looks a little complicated, and hopefully get some cool photos of Hannah and myself on the edge of like these cool rocks and stuff. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get going. that we are gonna hike. We need to get to the top of that, but we're not really sure where the start is, but I do know that you have to drive way past that way and find the beginning, so that's what we're gonna do now and then hike all the way back to this side. Let's go. Woo! So tell me what you're thinking now. We have made it to what we think is the bottom, the beginning of this hiking trail. Um, came for a hike? Always. I think it's like two hours off. So let's do it. Ready to go. Woo! Let's do this. Okay. So we're going. I think one of the main things that I want to do and something that I've seen that exists out on this peak is there's like an outcrop kind of rock that hangs over and has that kind of view in the background of that whole like mountain pinnacle and that whole bay ideally and the main photo that i'm after today is getting some shots of us being on that rock outcrop maybe hannah standing on top and getting a nice big wide of this bay in the background that's like the ideal situation the ideal outcome for this little shoot i'm hoping we can find it because we don't really know where it is we've never been up here before a really nice little outcrop here so I'm gonna quickly grab a couple of shots of Hannah just standing on the edge looking out that way I'm gonna do my best not to shoot too many photos on the way and just focus on getting to the top but this one's too nice to pass up so we're gonna grab it quickly Check out this um, little cool photo spot set up that we're gonna try to get a photo here. But what I wanted to just show you guys is look at this cloud that is kind of looming and approaching from that side. Um, right now it's looking super interesting how it's like coming in really low and just like moving along the water, which is awesome. And I think we'll make our photos look better. The only thing I'm worried about is it looks really thick and quite like dark and hectic back there. And if it keeps coming in too much, it could kind of ruin our photos because it's just going to be this like grayed out background and that's not really what we're after. We're after getting this like crazy beautiful view and the really blue ocean and everything. So <laughs> it's getting so much thicker like as I'm even talking about it. I'm really hoping that it's not just going to completely like engulf this whole bay and ruin the, like <laughs> our whole photo shoot. But yeah. <laughs> As of now, it's looking amazing. We are gonna grab a little photo right here of Hannah out on that rock. There's this little pink flower that I noticed that I'm gonna try to use as foreground and try and set up a little photo, something like this. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> cloud is looking so hectic right now <laughs> like it's fully engulfing the whole bay I think we might not see any ocean or anything from the top which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing it could might make it more interesting but it could also just kind of make it look gray and not nearly as nice as the blue so we're gonna have to keep heading up and see how it ends up looking <laughs> but I don't know if this is a good thing right now Okay, the whole cloud thing is like crazy over here, which is not so bad. But look at that cloud that's 
engulfing the peak that we actually need to be shooting. Like this cloud isn't necessarily a problem. That cloud is gonna mess things up. Because if we're just in the cloud when we're on the peak, we're not gonna get any view at all. Pretty much can't see the peak anymore. So I figure this is a perfect opportunity to fly the drone to the peak before the cloud like completely covers it and takes it away. Flying this drone, trying to get a shot of the peak, it's completely gone. Look at this huge cloud that's rolling in. We can't see anything anymore. This was not the plan. <laughs> like, the, the peak is gone. Um, we're definitely not going to be getting any views. I don't really know what to do. I don't want to give up just yet. So I think we're going to have to hike to the peak, even if it's just in like complete cloud. The only thing I can hope for is that some of this cloud kind of burns off. Maybe it passes, maybe it's not that much more cloud that way and it's all gonna just blow over. Let's get to the top, let's hope for the best. Maybe we can still make this work. We can get photos of this, it's gonna work out. Like, even right now we could shoot that, look at the view. You can see all the other sides of that. Yo! It's gonna work. I think that we're gonna get it in the end, dude. Let's get to the top. We can shoot some footage. I didn't. Okay, we, we're at the official top. The little like pole pinnacle thing is over there. It's looking like we got a little gap still, guys. So we're gonna quickly try and shoot some photos. They're not necessarily gonna be the grand ones on the edge of the pinnacle or anything just yet. We're still not giving up on that. Maybe we can find it. But for now, we're gonna take what we can get and just shoot some stuff looking out this way. We've got a little gap in the cloud. So I'm hoping it's gonna look cool. Let's quickly get it before the next clouds come in. We've got a little race against time here. So let's do this. There's definitely some cool little like outcrops here. Hand on that one there with the beach behind it. We've got a massive gap in the clouds right now. This is the chance we're gonna like pounce these photos and see if we can get them, guys. Okay, whenever you are ready. Okay, hand is on the rock out there. Let's us head back down here and we're gonna get a photo looking all the way back that way of her, like kind of on that outcrop. It's not the ideal outcrop that I had in mind of the like overhanging cliff. I think it will still work and give a pretty cool result with the beach in the background. Normally for like this type of stuff, landscape stuff, we'll be shooting on my wide lens, my 17 to 28 Tamron lens. But for this shot in particular, I'm just gonna change to my 28 to 75. I wanna get a little bit more zoomed in because I'm gonna be far away from where Hannah is. And I think by having a little bit longer of a focal length, it's gonna have a bit of that compression and bringing in that beach a little bit closer, making it a little bit more noticeable and we can just frame it up quite nicely. So let's head over here and see if we can get that shot looking across at Hannah. I think that is all that we're gonna get. The clouds have come back now. That was the, our very small little gap that we got. Didn't really manage to get as many photos as I had have hoped. Got like one maybe usable one over there, one usable one over there. Um, but that's all we can do. The clouds are back here. I think that's pretty much gonna be it. There's no more opportunities to take photos. You can't shoot in this. It's just gray and like washed out, so it doesn't really work. I was hoping it would clear, but I don't think it's going yeah. to. We've been sitting around like for half an hour waiting for one, but it just doesn't look like it's gonna happen. If anything, it looks like it's actually gonna start raining. And I'd prefer to get <laughs> off of this mountain before it does start raining. Damn. So. Let's head out maybe. Just so you guys have a vague idea, um, because video isn't always the most, that's quite cool. Oh, that's lovely. We had about two minutes of open skies that we had that little window, like two minutes, three minutes to shoot some photos. So honestly, we didn't get anything that's like that cool. It's not that rad. Like I can probably post one of these still. They are maybe usable, but I think something really important is like, with photography missions and videography missions, there's so many variables that are often out of your control that it doesn't always just work out. Like, 
a huge part for me and in my experience with phot with photography and videography is that you often just fail and you don't get anything usable and I think that's something really valuable for you guys to be aware of and often when you are seeing all the pros on YouTube and stuff they don't share that side of it often for something like this maybe this video would be scrapped and they wouldn't show it because it didn't have the result that they were looking for. And I think in this particular case, and rather than scrapping it, I think there's a cool lesson to be learned and something that you guys can take away from this and something that we can take away from this as well. And that's just that it is often really difficult and sometimes with things like weather that are out of your control, it just doesn't work. That's a huge part of it. And I don't know, I think that's something that you just got to get to learn and something you just got to embrace as part of the creative process of something like photography and videography. And even in a case like this, we still had a lot of fun. We still learned a lot of new things. We learned this lesson with you guys learning it as well, maybe. We got that photo on the way up. I forgot about that one. Did it work? I haven't seen it. I think it looks cool. There was like nice. the clouds coming in. Like, obviously, ideally, we would have got here and had like this big, crazy view. There's amazing views, like a panorama view all around us right now, which we just can't see any of. <laughs> and we're gonna have to come back up here again another day. But that's just how it works out. And when you guys are out shooting, and maybe you get back home and you realize that you don't have any photos that you like or anything that was usable maybe for other reasons maybe not something as obvious as it just being like rainy and cloudy don't be discouraged this happens to everyone it happens to me a lot and it happens to all of your favorite creators all of the pros this is something that happens they often just aren't sharing it with you guys that's gonna be it for us we're gonna head back down before it actually starts raining <laughs> it's getting cold and it's gray so Let's get off this mountain. <laughs> Back down to the bottom.